Hey everyone, Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in, in this video we're going to be going over how to mine Flux. Previously considered or called, Zell has rebranded to Flux, and actually last week or about two weeks ago, Flux have climbed up into like the number one spot for a split few days there, a few seconds, when it came to mining with LHR cards, which is why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make sure the number of you are aware of the cryptocurrency, the network, the ecosystem, and I hope that you actually take some time to research into Flux. But it, it climbed up on the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine, uh, especially throughout the month of September, and their main website is runonflux.io. Now, if we look in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that there is a download Zell core, which if you click will actually take you over to this main website and it's supported on multiple platforms, right? So your Mac, your Windows, uh, mobile devices, both on Android and Apple devices. And I believe there's a, a paid version and a free version. You don't have to get the Zell core premium or Zell core plus, but it is available if you choose to do so. They, they support a number of assets, a number of chains, um, and it's really intuitive. However, I have had issues or an experience for myself issues with the mobile wallet. So, you know, you pick and choose. However, the wallet is pretty good and the Zellcore team is pretty, uh, the Flux, excuse me, Zellcore and Flux, the, the community behind it, the dev team, the members and support are very uh, helpful in general. But you just click on the operating system of your choice. You're gonna see your main wallet. This may not be the latest version. Uh, I might have to update still, I'm not sure. But you can see down here, uh, Mr. Anderson, you know, like Matrix, right? And what's cool is they have various versions and stuff like that. I even seen one, I think it was the Lich King. I forgot which version it was. But it's, it's pretty cool to see the team kind of have these little uh, Easter eggs throughout their wallet. But to get started, once you have the wallet installed on your computer or whatever, uh, you sync account to device, and you're gonna create a username and password twice and go ahead and create that account for that device. Um, you can also import and sync everything, like if you already have it on your mobile device and you wanna get it connected on your desktop, you just need to sign in with the correct username and password. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about signing in, but setting up on the wallet is very easy. It's just like everything else. You gotta create an account, password, follow the steps in the process, follow the instructions and you're good to go. Now that we talked about the wallet, let's talk about what pool to mine on. So. The main pool is actually fluxpools.net. You can see here it has about 38.6% uh, of the network hash rate. The next one is miterpool.org and then two miners. Just to run through it real quick, all these pools are very simple, just like any other cryptocurrency mining pool. This one looks really good actually, compared to some that I've seen that are a little bit more generic. Uh, we can see the number of miners, number of workers, what the pool fee is, the average time to find a block. But just like all these pools, there is a get started. So if we click on get started here, there's our, there is the servers that we can connect to, um, as well as the ports. But you want to make sure that you've got the right miners for your particular GPU. So for AMD, what I would recommend is LOL miner. For NVIDIA, I would recommend G miner. Uh, same thing for miner pool here. If we come to this website, we click on connect. Boom, there's a pop up with the server, the port and everything we need and then recommended miners are G minor, mini Z and LOL minor. I would just say LOL minor pr probably if you're like got like a mixed rig of AMD and Nvidia, uh, but either G minor for Nvidia is what I like and LOL minor for AMD. That's my particular preferences, but I want to hear from you down in the comments below. On two miners, kind of the same thing as well. Uh, how to get started takes us to a page, has the recommended miners, gives us the information we need, right? So here's the server port, all that good stuff. Everything is good to go and even gives us the config that we need to put in for G minor or LOL minor. Now, you always want to make sure that your miners are up to date. Now, they don't update every single day, but what I like to do is if I switch from one coin to another, say for example, I'm mining Ethereum and I want to switch back to mining Flux now, I always go check, you know, LOL minor or G minor and usually it's right there at the top. It's going to be a link that when you search for it, look for the GitHub link or the Bitcoin talk thread that it might be on. I don't like to go for some website that I don't really know and click any links on there. But if you just scroll down here on LOL Miner, you see we got the Linux version and the Windows version. You just wanna make sure you update to the latest Windows version. And then for G Miner, same thing, Linux, Windows, you click the one for your basic operating system. And this one, you see how I got a little error down here that says this could be dangerous. 
all you got to do is go to your downloads and then you just want to keep dangerous file keep anyway I trust the devs at LOL minor G minor and all that stuff I'm not really too concerned about it however I do have protections in place basic antivirus programs and I do have to add exclusions a lot of people bump into that where they add exclusions or, or excuse me they have issues where they open up the minor or whatever and the antivirus blocks it you might have to go to your windows or whatever your antivirus program is and add an exclusion for that for that particular file or for it to run properly all right I usually just exclude the whole folder but it's gonna be up to you so let me go ahead and get this set up real quick I like to keep everything organized so what I do is I basically just open it up extract to hit OK because that's gonna go straight to my downloads folder as you can see right here same thing with G minor open it up let this window pop up extract to it go to my downloads and then I move it to wherever I want I like to keep all my miners kind of organized so go to my mining folder. You can do it however you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Go to my LOL uh, mining folder. And you can see that I am behind because I, I'm upgrading from 1.31 to 1.32a. And I am running the RX 6800 on this particular system. So I want to stick with L, um, LOL miner. Now you can see on this minor the lol minor that we see mine zell it doesn't say flux and it says mine zell zell and flux kind of did just the same thing all right zell just rebranded as flux uh but this is the one we want so we're going to click edit let's see what the default uh excuse me let's see what the default pool is and let's see here i'm going to go to flux pools and i'm going to use that setup but let's see what they have configured in here already all right, so now we got two choices here. Either we can manually grab everything we need, right? So we could just copy this and put it in the specific fields that we want. Or we can use the mining config generator. We got to provide the wallet address. So we're going to go to our wallet, choose our particular cryptocurrency. We want to receive, and then we're going to copy our address give it a name so we can call it you know whatever the machine is in general password and then we, we have lol miner and windows and then we can hit copy the default setup for lol miner at least this file all of this may look a little bit daunting it's it's really easy um so we can just set our wallet here so i copy this dot worker so give it a name and I actually saved this, it will work as well. Otherwise, you can just copy all of this and I'm pretty sure you can just delete, like just replace all of this with just this batch file and you should be good. Uh, let me go ahead and do that test for you real quick. I'm just gonna confirm and save as something new rather than writing over the original. And remember when we save as, we wanna change the file type uh, from TXT to all files so that way it would save as a BAT. Now I'm gonna just change it from Zell to flux just so I know exactly what it is now I know what Zell is I'm just saving it for myself so I'm gonna click this may make the computer a little bit choppy so bear with me here all right and there we go we're finding shares and we're able to do it now we just want to verify at the pool that we're getting submitted shares you never want to just click it and then walk away you always want to make sure so you copy your address you go to the pool and then you search your miner and you just give it some time so right now it's already reporting it's showing up we're good to go one rig is online and so we're mining away basically when it comes to for example let's go to g minor real quick it's very simple exact same process just a little bit different one's more for nvidia they both are supported on amd and nvidia but i like to use g minor for nvidia and aim uh, lol minor for amd or team red minor for amd but team red minor is not supported for flux now i did just get a warning here you see how my antivirus picked this up i'm going to come here i'm going to go to allow on device start actions and then we should be good to go let's make sure that all the files are in there yep everything is there good to go all right and now here's zell cache and we need to edit this all right so it's not zell anymore it's flux so we copy what we just set up in team red miner over to g miner we will be able to mine no proms so we're just going to copy a few things here 
And I'm not sure if G minor is going to give us any issues, but we're about to find out. So let's see here. Now, how do we set a worker name? Usually, I think it's in the password for this one, but there's always a readme file in your miners that you can always check out. So let's see what it says here. Control F, worker. So it's dot after the wallet, just like we normally see with everything else. So dot and then your worker name. So wallet dot your worker name. And then again, we're going to do file, save as, all file type to make sure that we, we save it as a batch file. We're going to do give it a custom name so we know what it is. Save. And then there's the file. Now here we are, we're submitting shares. We're getting about, what, 41 souls right now. I'm going to go ahead and stop that and switch on over to Gminer just to show you that it's working on the RX 6800 on my main system. So we just saw something there in that error message and what it was is I'm missing a port number. So if we go back to get started, what I'm missing is the one at the end. It's 7001 and I guess when I copied it, I didn't carry that onto it. So save it again, start it back up. And that's basically it. I mean, when it comes to mining, you always want to double check and verify that your wallet address is correct, that you got the correct server, port number, all that good stuff before you just assume that it's going to start working. You see the green here, accepted shares, congratulations, good. But make sure that you're not mining somebody else's wallet, that you're verifying uh, submitted shares at the pool level, and you will be good to go. Flux is a popular token. Um, it has a pretty tight community, pretty good community that I'm very happy to be a part of. I have not done a video on mining Flux. I think I've, I've done a video on Zelle, but I haven't done one since it's rebrand to Flux. So that is how you get started with mining. The Zelle Core wallet is really cool, actually. Um, they even have internally, like here's the, the, the service I was telling you. So Zelle Core Plus is $4 a month. There's Zelle Core Free. Here's a comparison of the features, you know, free versus uh, the monthly or Zelle Core Plus. Uh, you can there's exchange or swaps in here they got all kinds of goodness there's more stuff coming out in the future with uh hopefully binance uh bit tricks and kraken but I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna have to wait to see how things turn out ftx is in here and ftx is gaining popularity with tom brady and, and them making commercials about the exchange binance dex quick swap uh but obviously you want to always compare you know what the the fees are between one wallet or one exchange and, and kind of go from there and just do what's best for you and, and your budget but uh, it allows us to manage a number of cryptocurrencies. We can add additional cryptocurrencies, which I really like. Look, if we look at add asset, look how many chains are supported in here. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, Ethereum chain, Binance Smart Chain, so on and so forth, gift cards. Uh, really cool wallet, both available on your mobile and your desktop. Uh, but that is going to do it for me today. That's how you get started with mining Flux. I'm interested to hear your thoughts about Flux or Zelle and the Zelle Core wallet. Let me know in the comments down below. But on the way out, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel. As well as check out the links down in the description that do help us out because they are affiliate links. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.